This is Timothy Bloom, and you know I got some soul. All right, Timothy, so self-titled album came out in January. Um, long time coming, so how did it feel to finally get that album out? Um, it felt great to put my album out um, this year. Um, you know, for the past two years, I've been working on it. You know, when I, I left Endoscope. Um, it's just been like an extreme like journey and to be able to like actually birth a child uh, It was pretty amazing. It was like very liberating and it was awesome. It felt great. Cool And for the people who don't know uh, you were signed to Polo and Timbal and Timbaland So what was that transition like going from two mega producers to doing it all on your own? Um, you know going from Timbaland and Polo, you know working with them, you know, and just being you know self-sufficient so now like even when we were working together, they allowed me to do whatever I wanted to do. So, but like while I was with them in, in the transition, I learned, you know, a few things, you know, um, it's just having fun doing the music, you know, cause they would have a lot of fun and uh, while producing records and stuff like that. And I think that's, you know, the joy of doing music is just to have fun doing it. And if you love doing it, you know, regardless if, you know, if, you know, the people don't understand what you're doing, like you're just gonna get a joy from it. So that I, I get a joy from, doing the music that I love in the capacity that I'm doing it in right now. Right, so um, how come you decided to leave that situation because Polo and Timbaland, both huge producers, big names? You know, I, I think, you know, you know, I, I left the situation, you know, you know, you know, just like, you know, when a kid leaves, you know, the house, going to college, you know, there has to be like some type of separation so you don't get like lost in the wilderness, you know, and I, and I, I feel like I didn't want to get lost in the wilderness. And I think, you know, on both sides, it was a mutual agreement. I think, you know, even now we're going to, you know, continue to do stuff together and, and uh, just continue to raise a platform and awareness that, you know, you know, one day I'll be like a Timberland and a Polar, you know, because they're, I mean, obviously, like, they're like the gods, the producer gods of the music industry. So. Right. Of course, a couple of years ago, you had the huge single, Till the End of Time. So since then, how have you been able to capture that momentum and carry forward um you know till the end of time a couple years ago that i feel like you know now it's a it's a classic record because even when people for the first time they're like holy smokes where did this come from so i think you know while i was moving forward you know i think it was a there was a time in the season and that just kind of like catapulted and did its thing then which is allowing me to do what i'm doing now and i have to go back and backtrack and gain new fans and you know everybody knows what's going on so and you know it's just it's 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 cool man. I get to take it with me you know on this journey as well too so it's cool so for those who haven't heard the album yet but only know you from that song can you kind of introduce them to the album and what they can expect well this this album um, that I put out um, is pretty much self-titled and it's a love album I wanted to put something out um, that wanted just to you know just to expose the nature of love and how it's just you can you can feel it in, in the music. All right, and um, during that time period where you know you were promoting the single, you also had a placement on Chris Brown's album. Um, do you think having a placement on that made you more patient um, to put out the album, or to just talk about that a little bit? Um, I think uh, working with Chris and working with people like Neo and uh, Smokey Robinson and all those cats like. You know, it just goes back to the Timberland and the Polos, you know, because those, you know, those are like some, especially Smokey, Smokey Robinson, you know, I, I did Smokey Robinson when I was like 22 years old. And um, that right there, like, let, it let me know that I was going to be like somewhere in the industry doing something. Um, and I think it has sustained me, you know, for a very, very long, since 2003. It's been like 10, wait. We're, we're 12 in, years. Yeah, we're in 14. Yeah, let me leave that. For some reason, I thought it was like 2033 for some reason. <laughs> yeah, so just, um, you know, Chris Brown, you know, we won a Grammy with that record and we won a Grammy with the Neo record. So, like, you know, just been, I just been grinding, man, and just like, you know, doing the music that I love to do. And Chris is just, he's a badass. So, like, you know, it was cool. So, hypothetically speaking, because you've already had these placements, you've worked with these artists, would you have been, ha would you have been, content with just being a songwriter and not putting out an album? Um, you know, like, it's interesting because when I, when I came into this situation, 
I wasn't thinking about getting a deal. And I think sometimes, you know, you know, God kind of like brings you to your destiny. And I was not looking for a deal, and all of a sudden I'm getting all these crazy phone calls. Uh, but I used to like, you know, perform all the time with my brothers. Like we used to have a group when we were kids. And then when I graduated high school, I moved to Germany with the group. So I always thought I was gonna, I always knew I was gonna be a part of a stage or be on stage. But the capacity of where I'm at today just, you know, confirms the journey that I've been on throughout. And um, yeah, that's all we had for you. I uh, had for you. Is there anything that you'd like to add? Uh, yeah. Go check out timothybloom.com, at timothybloom, at tbloom on the Instagrams. The wait, at timothybloom is the Twitter, right? Yeah. So yeah, yeah. Go get that album, Timothy Bloom, on iTunes.